Okay, I had hoped this would be the last night on this sunfish. I don't even know if I recorded that last little bit that I was sanding on or not. Anyway, in sanding, my original holes were here, here, and here. And this spot here was just a crack. It wasn't completely through, but I ground it down and I put a little fairing compound in to take out the texture of the chop strand once the fiberglass is rolled out. And sanding away, if I could hear this, I found this hole. I found one more hole on the bow. So I've got one, two spots, three spots to do fairing compound to. You'll notice that I stopped doing fairing compound on this first one, went to this second one. Uh, the reason is, if I've said it again, sorry, it's cooled down to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. When I started, it was around 85 in here, and that's over 30 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Celsius for those of you in the world that uses the more intelligent measurement system. Don't know why America can't seem to get away from what they call the standard system. So anyway, uh, got a little more fairing to do. This hole was here. We had one here. We had one here. We had one here. So this is still good, nice and solid. But. You can hear the difference maybe on the phone. I can't tell if you can or not until editing. So I've got to do a little fairing compound here, a little on the back back there. I have it down. You can tell this is the solid spot and that's where I fixed the hole. 
uh, using chop strand. I make it thicker than it was from factory. That makes it stronger, uh, maybe more brittle, but it shouldn't be. It should be just stronger, should be more flexible, not crack as easily. These are 40 year old or older sunfish that we're repairing for the sailing center. Like, subscribe, and follow. I'll show you a little bit when I get closer to finish tonight. All right, I went a little overboard this time. Still started to sit off on me too soon right here, but that'll sand out, no big deal. It may have a little air bubble or two in it, but it'll be fine. By air bubble, it'll leave a little pocket. There's those, let's throw some light on the situation. Now these are all proud, and it's basically just to fill any little holes that are in the texture of the material. So there's where we're at. Well, I'm gonna see if I set you up over here and sand that really nasty. Look at that, that's terrible. From the time I walked from that corner around the vessel back to here, that's what it turned out being like.
Well, that's a little bit of a grinding video. And what I wanted to do today that I'm not gonna get to do was throw a gel coat on it. And the reason I'm not is because this part here is still curing. And this part here is still curing. I'm gonna set the AC to run for about 12 hours and then it'll knock off. I'm going to lay my rag over top of my mask so it doesn't get full of dust. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip it over so I don't scratch my lens. And I'm just going to quit right where I'm at. Get out of here. Go do something else. Take a shower. Watch a movie with my wife. some sleep now I had one of you email me and ask me why I may have already answered this in a video before why do you keep those certain things in a cooler keeps them from jumping up because you see that's been running for several hours now and it's only down to 79 in here so It'll cool it off in here. That that little window unit running will get this air conditioned room so cold that you'll regret being in here. So I'll uh, flake this stuff all off. When I come back to do the gel coat, this will be disposable. I found this board with a screw in it. I gotta get the screw out of it. That's dangerous to leave laying around. Gotta try to clean up some stuff in here and make some room. It's kind of crowded, getting crowded out with stuff. Like I said, hit that like, subscribe, follow. See you next time.